Good evening. Doing a little bit of tomatoes today. But I have so they'll transplant quite well. Is the Sweet 100 and the Yellow Pear. I don't know if you see the label down there. No, you can't see it too well. But I've done these ones. And I'm um, just about to do some Roma potatoes. Uh, tomatoes, sorry. Not potatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, nice and deep. I've gone really deep. Um, 20, 20 centimetres, 25 centimetres to put these little seedlings in because they'll grow roots right up the stem and you get bushier, bigger plants. So I've um, got to get a stick and tie it up and put a string up. See, because I'm stringing these ones here on a wire, wire up there, got the string coming down. And I'm using these little clips here, the tomato clips. They're actually fantastic, man. They're fantastic. They're plastic, but they're, but they're reusable year and year over. And when um, when they're stuffed, well, they get recycled. Instead of having to use uh, cloth ties on, on the poles and things like that, you know? Because those cloth ties, what do you do with it? You gotta cut it off and then you gotta throw it in the rubbish. So anyway, I'm just going to tie the string up on a stick and I'll show you in a minute, so back soon. So we've uh, got the stick tied on, just a little block of uh, untreated wood, just tie it on and drop it down, put it down in the hole, that's just the lime, I may have said that before, just going to push that down like that, so it's right underneath and we're just going to sit the plant on top there we go and now this one is uh roma acid free and now we're going to put it down quite deep so we may have to just snip off another of those there we go Is that and these were some side laterals that grew on the tomato plant from this one so these here are a clone of this one. This one's already flowering, as you can see, growing really well and being planted as deep as this. And uh, so this is going to grow roots just like this, but here it's going to grow roots all up that stem as far as the dirt, which won't take it long. This was only uh, a couple of weeks old. It started to grow roots within the first week. So yeah, we'll drop that in there. All right. And as you can see, that's quite deep, really deep actually. That's good. That's that's really good actually. Yeah. Now put that down. Make sure there's no hole here down there. Strange. No dig gardening, but you dig a hole to plant the tomatoes. Oh, <laughs> and now we're just gonna pull the string up, straight up and down, lash it around the cable. Drop the string, get that string. Alright, I'm going to bring it up and then I'll wrap it around here. So I'm just going to pause you here because it's pretty hard to tie the thing in one hand. So we'll be back in a second. So, here we go, Fano. 
string us up tied up to the wire up here along with these other ones so i'm just going to go along and uh, plant these other couple of tomatoes uh, in the space here it's still going to leave me a room for a couple more which i'll plant in about another month or so we'll get a lot of um some ripening around the same time but uh, one in the corner first one the parent plants all these four will um, probably be finished fruiting by the time these ones here are kind of midway because that one there has been in the garden maybe about a month maybe six weeks and these ones here will go in and possibly about Christmas, just before Christmas. And so these will fruit right through to near the end of the season. That's what I mean about when you plant them deep, you get a lot of, get a lot of growth. It's got a bigger root system. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with these ones. Better not get sidetracked. The weather's not too great, so I'll give you a look in a minute. When, once these two have uh, been planted. Kia ora whanau. welcome back. Um, it's been a couple of months since I planted the tomatoes. And as you can see, that one's about as tall as me. Um, it's about somewhere between 5'10 and 6 foot, that one there. We still got some green tomatoes on this side, right in this one. But we've done this way here, down the pathway of the house. Um, the wind was terrible and the plants suffered a lot. Last year they grew really well, but this year they really suffered. You can see that uh, tops have been snapped off. This one here. Yeah, I just left it on because that nice big fat tomato there that's uh, still ripening. And I'll remove that as soon as these other ones are nearly done. These plants are almost, um, yeah, they've almost had their day. So I'm gonna be ripping them out soon. And um, I'm gonna pick all these um, ripe and almost ripe tomatoes. Yeah, a lot didn't set by the looks of things. Oh, it's a bit hard to try and pick the tomatoes and film at the same time. No, oh, we'll do it. We'll just cut that off there. There we go. See, those ones there didn't fruit very well. Yeah, and this one here. This one here is um, Aunt Ruby's German green tomato. It's, they grow huge tomatoes. These ones are actually ripe. And you see, some, some just didn't set. But oh well. I think you get that, you know, now and then. Not every tomato's gonna grow. And when the wind whips through, this is what happened to my cherry tomatoes. I've got the sweet 100s and these uh, uh, yellow pear. But the, the, the steaks, these are useless. These tomato cage steak things. I'm not gonna use them again. A couple of them just snapped and the plants just fell over so i had to just uh, untie them and i've got no stakes to tie them up so it's coming to the end of the season so um i'm not even going to bother, bother staking them up i'm just going to harvest what i can from them it's a lot of a lot of sweet 100s at the moment mm. really tasty this here there's a yellow tomato I lost the tag, don't know what it is, but it's a bit slow compared to everything else, mind you. It hasn't been the greatest season for tomatoes, well, outdoor tomatoes anyway. And these aromas, they're all starting to fruit up now, ripen up. I'm glad um, these are starting to happen because I like the aroma tomatoes for cooking, they're great. Yeah. But um, this one down here, I'm going to be taking this one out soon. 
they've nearly finished. These are the first ones I planted down here. And then I uh, planted the romas after that. Maybe they haven't quite grown up the wires yet, but it's coming closer to where the season's cooling down. No frosts or anything for a few months, even if we ever do get one. But yeah, you can see they, they, they were doing all right. Some didn't do very well at all. So you know, I put it down to the weather and the wind. We had some hell winds. This German green one though, aren't rubies? That there, oh, it's about six inches taller than what I can reach. But the fruit aren't setting, you know? It's just nothing. But oh well, got a few kilos of fruit off it anyway. Look at that. Yeah, that's a big tomato. I took an even bigger one off. But we'll go down and have a look at these other ones in the other garden. Yeah, these ones are, I think, pretty much, apart from these fallen over cherry tomatoes and the romas, have basically seen the end of the season. So we'll just go down to the other end of the garden, to the back garden, and um, we'll have a look at the other tomatoes. Well, we're down at the um, garden bed that needs a bit of weeding. It's a bit of weeds, a little bit of weeds. And uh, these were all self sown. They all came up in this bed, so I just dug them up and pulled them, uh, planted them back out. A couple of them are, I don't know what it's called, there's some kind of bug, I can't remember what it's called. But um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see under the leaf, it's starting to happen. It's got this white sugary coat on it. Um, yeah, but some of these ones basically on their way out. So I'm gonna end up cutting those back soon. But yeah. Got some some nice tomatoes still coming. And these are all free, you know, self sowing, wild, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And what are these black things all over the plant? I have no idea. No idea. <clears throat> so, um, if you know what these black bugs are, please leave a comment. Because those are freaky. Anyway, we'll have a look at uh, these ones here. These ones are going really well. See, this is another one of those self sowing ones. And these are uh, these ones here. And this lot here are the Tigerella. A lot of tomatoes, so you still a lot of tomatoes to go. And um, got these ones down the back here. These are all part of those self sowed ones. So, yeah. Another couple of months worth of tomatoes to harvest. As long as they don't get, get uh, infested. I might have to spray them with something. I'll have to check out. See? So you get this white sugary powder coming from these things. Let's see if we find some. We'll take this leaf off. Yeah, they're on this leaf. You see those bugs? If you know what these are, I'd be really interested. I think. I, I think the phallicide, phallicide or something, I'm not, I don't even know how you say it. But that's what's producing. And so, I'm going to give the, the tomatoes a spray with some neem oil tonight, in a couple of hours, and see if that deals with them. It may not, you know. 
it may it may not but I'd, I'd rather see them um, the rest of the tomatoes grow healthily than be uh, left to that happening to them this is weird a mm, whole lot of different things that can affect different tomatoes eh? mm. yeah well well for now this is my tomatoes um basically from from when they were little seedlings to now so far and still harvesting quite a lot so um I think I've got a few chores to do right now, a few jobs to uh, try and bring out the last of these tomatoes back to some good health before they end up dying off from these bugs or something, whatever they are. So, I hope you enjoyed that, finally. Because um, I really enjoy growing tomatoes. And we've had a whole heap. I think there's a few few kilos to pick here just the other day I had I picked seven kilos so yeah I'm glad they're actually slowing down a little bit so thanks for that fun eh? thanks for watching if you like what you saw hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up leave a comment especially if you know what those things are and how to deal with them really well because uh, no doubt next season when I'm growing tomatoes they'll probably be visiting my plants again so, hope you enjoyed that. Bye now. Kaki did.